Hello, uh, I'm Louisa. So um, I have, I'm happy to be here to share something with you. So uh, briefly about me, am I loud enough? Okay, all right. So I'm now teaching in the division of uh, Integrative Systems and Design in Hong Kong UST. So it's quite a new uh, program uh, by its name. So it is uh, Integrating Design and Technology. And then a bit about myself. So my academic background are uh, design and anthropology. And I was an uh, uh, industrial designer before. And later on, um, luckily, I joined the academia. So I, I, I started my teaching career uh, since uh, 2011. So today's topic is teaching by design uh, for the United Nations Sustainable Development Goals. So in short, is teaching by design for SDGs. So as you see that I, I uh, bold the three words, teaching, design, and SDGs. So first of all, the qu first question is why design for SDGs? So let's look at a quote by design theorist. Design as a disciplinary knowledge is useful to other disciplines for creative problem solving, which is by a design theorist uh, in the UK, Bruce Archer and in particular with the problems by Hoster Ritter. So I highlighted in, in orange, design is as a disciplinary knowledge. Uh, it's good for creative problem solving. So it's great, it has a creativity part and it's good for problem solving, especially with the problems. So I'm sure that you know uh, some people, some scholars, experts, they described sustainability challenges as with the problems. So it is of a high complexity, it involves a lot of elements, stakeholders, and it's almost like irresolvable. So, yeah, so it, is, it is difficult, so it's worked problems. So by um, these studies, so it implies that, it seems that design is valuable for sustainable uh, problems. Then, so assuming that design is good for SDGs, for sustainable sustainability, and then is design teachable, Today's topic is about teaching by design. So is design teachable? Let's look at another quote. The power of action in design is, that, is, a, is natural talents reside in design, same as creativity as natural talents that resides in design that may be cultivated and enhanced through training or education. It's by uh, Richard Buchanan, another design theorist. So it, say, it says that design is a natural talent, however, uh, it can be cultivated or enhanced so uh, through education. So if you have that natural talent, then through education, we can help you to enhance more. And if you don't have then it's also possible that through education, it can be cultivated, it can be unraveled, it can be triggered. So it also, from these studies, so it also implies that design is teachable. Then the problem, that question comes to how to teach design for SDGs. So it comes uh, to my topic today is design with capital D, teaching by design in non-design disciplines for sustainability. So design with capital D, I like it. Then what is design? This is another uh, statement from John Haskett, is a design um, historian and also he said he explores what is design. Design is to design a design to produce a design. So there are four designs here. Uh, the first design I underlined is the noun. So it is um, in, it refers to the domain of design. And in, the, in this domain, there are different streams like interior design, industrial design, that is my background, uh, graphic design, communication design, and many others. Design is to design. The second design is a verb, is to design or to create, to, um, to plan, or to ideate. And then a third design is to design a design. So maybe to, to um, and I, that, that refers to maybe an idea or a plan um, similar to those to produce a design. So the last design is the design outcome. So seemingly John Haskett is talking to design field, to designers, to design students. So it's within the domain design, what is design? Designs to design a design to produce a design. Then what if, if I'm not teaching in a design school, 
And my students, they are not design students and they don't have a basic design training and, and they don't necessarily want to become a designer then how to teach. So the curriculum should be different. And then Tim Brown, I know, I think you know him well. So Tim Brown is from a partner from uh, IDEO. So IDEO is the company, the design company that uh, popularized design thinking. So he said, thinking like a designer can transform the way you develop products, services, processes, and even strategy. So thinking like a designer, so here, apparently, he's not talking to designers because designer ourselves are already thinking, thinking as a designer. So thinking like a designer, he wants to say that uh, let others, non-designers, uh, think like designers because he also see the values of design. So let others uh, to think like a designers. So here it becomes the phrase design thinking. So design has been a, a, a word that um, uh, has appeared since the first design school appeared in, in the world. Uh, I, will, I will say it is the Bauhaus Design School 101 years ago. And then design thinking is a new phrase uh, that has been taken since the mid-2000. Uh, so it's a, a bit later. So design thinking is, uh, uh, is uh, something valuable taken from the design disciplines. And this, this will be good for other people to learn to solve problems. So that comes the design thinking. In a little bit history, this is um, a, a, a lamp uh, that was uh, produced after the Industrial Revolution. So it is the first lamp produced in mass, mass produced lamp. Uh, so, you know, the Industrial Revolution, there are lots of technologies um, uh, invented. And also it invented uh, uh, factories, mass production, division of labor, all those things. And the target is efficiency. So this is the first lamp uh, being mass produced. But think about this, just before this lamp, what was that? So it's craftsmanship. So the lamp uh, just before this mass produced lamp will, will be a craft, craft lamp with lots of uh, decorations, uh, ornaments, and uh, motif. So because uh, for efficiency, because of uh, the efficiency to make the mold and to shorten the time to produce it. So um, people at that time, they get rid of, they remove some uh, many ornaments, many decorations on the lamp. And then at that time, there was a group of people, they opposed to it. They say, oh, we don't like technology because the lamp is so ugly. We, we need to go back to craftsmanship. And then there's a very strong uh, group of people uh, um, uh, criticized this. And that one of the group is arts and crafts movements. So they said, we need to go back to craftsmanship. However, there is another group of people. Uh, they, do not, they did not say the same thing. So this is the signature, signature Bauhaus lamp. So you can compare the two different lamps. So it was a lamp designed from the Bauhaus Design School. And this group of people, they said that, no, technology is good. We should not uh, um, give, up, give up this. Um, however, at the same time, we don't accept this kind of aesthetic quality. So they said, we should utilize, we should leverage technology, but integrate with design. And this comes uh, with um, uh, the classic Bauhaus lamp. So the Bauhaus School in 1919, so it's 101 years ago, as I said before. So this is the Bauhaus School. So they uh, trained the design uh, students and also they formulated um, many design principles and methods. So like typography, color theories and uh, form and space. So these are design principles and, um, and design methods. So it means that uh, design um, to guide students, uh, some structures, methods, and curriculum is important. So nowadays, education, we talk about project-based learning. So um, from my observation, if you give a project to students, at the end, they can still make something out of it. So it's uh, an, an uh, I don't doubt that. So there must be something concrete at the end. However, as a teacher, you want to embrace design. So is it something that you want? 
So my point is how to is important. So as Cisa has also shown this, uh, the design thinking process in five steps that it is so popular from the uh, Stanford, from Stanford D school. However, so this is a good process. I like it. However, it, do, it doesn't really tell how to, so how to develop empathy. It's just saying that uh, put yourself into others' shoes is not enough. I think it's not enough. So how to put myself into others' shoes and then how to define problems. Where do you, how to, how do you design user insights? Um, how to meet users, how to meet my potential um, uh, uh, target users. And then ideate, how to visualize ideas to explain. Because uh, when you talk about sketches, drawing is drawing in the art sense is very different to sketching uh, for um, generating ideas. They are two different, very, uh, two different approach to do that. And how about prototype? What to prototype and how to prototype? So are we talking about prototyping to refine a solution or prototyping to find more problems to develop more understanding with users? And also test. So when and where to test? Are we testing in the lab or are we, are we testing uh, in the field? And then at one seminar, I met uh, Tom Kelly. Tom Kelly is the one, uh, the founder of IDEO together with Tim Brown. And also he promoted this uh, design thinking process. So he said, uh, find your own unique application for design thinking. So this is true, I agree. So find your own way to apply design thinking. However, before that, really how, how we proceed these five steps. And then my first, because I, 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 I was used to teach design students. And then my, when I had my first attempts teaching engineering students, it's a failed design story. Because when I asked them to understand people, through observation and interview, they, do not, they, don't, they didn't really observe people. They keep on observing objects. And also uh, when they ask people, they ask people, do you like my ideas? Which is not, to, uh, not about to understand uh, people and problems. And then when they define problems, they have still have a lot of assumptions. They still would say that uh, I believe, I think, but if you have the data, the evidence the based data from the field, then you will say that my users think or my users said something. Mm -hmm. And the worst is when they proceed for concept generation, they ask Taobao, so, which is um, a little bit shock to me. So um, I was a bit upset at that time. But later on, I realized that how to is important. So later in my afterwards, in my other courses, I tried to um, structure my course with established design um, methods and principles. So here uh, I show you some of the work. I don't go into details because um, I don't have much time. So I just show you that. So these are the prototypings that I'm talking about. So um, they, are, they are prototyping because they are still developing their ideas. It's not they are prototyping to demonstrate their final solutions. So you can see all these uh, items uh, they are not the final solutions. They're very quick models and they are probing more um, understanding of, of, the, of, the, of the phenomenon. And also I structured uh, the process of redefining problems step-by-step step together with uh, design methods. And another course, so it is again prototyping, but I get, we work with Hong Kong tramways. Uh, so this is not the final tram design, but it is a model that this, uh, the students set up, uh, built, and then they are playing around with the interior and see how to, how to, how, uh, to explore more issues from the tram. And also this is the sketch, very quick sketch. Uh, that's what I said, it's not the same as the uh, more classic drawing that you have a lot of shadows, a lot of sketch, uh, hatching. So we don't need that because uh, um, our brain, there are lots of ideas flowing out from our brains and we need to quick the sketch quick to, de to develop more. And also a campus, I also structured, uh, developed a campus for them to uh, visualize their thinking. And I, I, I did not ask them to use the mind map uh, uh, software on the, uh, uh, on the computer because uh, 
I always think that visual thinking, not I always think that, but design training is visual thinking is important. So when we draw, when we uh, prototype, we are still thinking. But if you are using too soon to go to the computer, then uh, the ideas still will stop flowing in your brain. I also uh, run design thinking courses, but again, it's the same. I also adopted uh, the established design uh, uh, thinking methods. So this one is by Case Dawson. Um, so this is his uh, design-based uh, frame innovation process. Uh, so this is also step by step. Okay. Okay. So it comes to my last section. So afterwards, uh, when I uh, run my course, uh, I'm quite satisfied now. So I, I'm be I began from being upset, and now I'm quite happy with the courses. But I'm not saying that uh, my the result of my course, the solutions achieve. Um, sustainability goals. Uh, that's of course I'm happy, but I'm more happy about the middle part, the path. The path. Um, now I know that if I guide them more, because students have to be guided if you give them a project. Uh, so um, I'm happy that the path is a design path, is a design approach that I want. So they are really freeing themselves to ideate, to be more creative, and also to um, uh, understand users more. So this, the path part is what I like. So last, this is my last slide. So um, when Tim Brown or Tom Kelly expanded design uh, thinking to um, other fields, uh, I think design um, uh, practitioners or design experts, we don't, we should not forget our the design attributes, and we should also expand these to other disciplines. So that is creativity, visual thinking, interdisciplinary, and, and aesthetic qualities is very unique in design. And the last quote is uh, uh, by Bruce Archer, the designerly way of thinking and alien mode of reasoning. So it looks like that design is unreasonable um, uh, because we are crazy, we are too creative, but then actually we have both sides of, we use both sides of our brain. So we are on one side being reasonable, we, we analyze, and on the other side, we are creative. Uh, but even though uh, there are also um, uh, design methods uh, to uh, to guide the students, just like the Baja school. Yeah, that's all. Yeah. Okay. Fantastic. Thank you.